As a black man, some of the things that hurt me the most is when I see some of my people actually being led astray by the hip hop culture and this culture of glorifying, you know, drugs and gang activity and being against the police. It hurts my heart because I know it's not setting us up for success. This video reminded me of that. These officers are on a task force trying to combat some of the crimes in their city. They know that these men are involved in some gang activity as well as, you know, brandishing firearms in front of this local business. Officers respond to detain these guys because they know that they're actually on a list for actually possessing firearms and being convicted felons, which you can't do. What you're going to see next, you're going to see officers roll up, try to detain one of the suspects, and then this is what happens. Hey, look. Move. I got 438. Got one running southbound towards Romero. Get off the ground. Good, good, good. Get off the ground. I got 438. Shots fired. Stay on the ground. Get off the ground. As the officer is giving chase, he sees the firearm in the suspect's hand and he elects to utilize deadly force, which by law, by policy, and by case law, he's absolutely able to do simply because he's chasing a fleeing felon and he knows that this guy is a danger to the community that he's, that he's in. Imagine if this guy were to run into somebody's house or take somebody hostage or even just turn that gun at the officer. He's in danger. So the officer doesn't need to wait for the guy to turn towards him in order to utilize that deadly force. As you can see, the initial shots of fire don't take the suspect down. He gets back up, throws a gun, and then the officers continue to give chase. They find him shortly after on a doorstep in front of somebody's house. Stay right fucking there. Don't fucking move. Don't fucking move. 2282, I got him at... He's got an 18. Do not move your fucking hands. Okay. Just stay right there. Where's he hit at? The officers immediately go from trying to stop this guy and trying to save this man's life. Now, here's the part where I talk about the culture is killing us. Just before this incident happened, these guys were on a Facebook Live just hanging out in front of the shop. Shortly after, the officers pull up, and that's when they give chase. And you can see towards the end of this Facebook Live, you can notice when the officers get on scene. But this is what I want you guys to notice in the comment section of this live. Notice how people in this live are saying, I can't stand the pigs, F the pigs, why are they there? They're saying, they're saying so many different things, and they have absolutely no reasons why the officers are actually there trying to enforce the law. These guys were actually known to these officers are being involved in gangs, carrying firearms by being and being convicted felons, and so much more. I speak in schools all across our country, and I go into these neighborhoods where a lot of these young men are invited into this culture and perpetuating the same cycles. If we want to have any success as a culture, if we want to have any success as a people, we got to be willing to hold ourselves accountable, but we also got to be willing to get away from culture that is getting us killed. What do you guys think in the comment section below?